Hello everybody, it is Reaper Games with another salt video. Now this isn't your normal run-of-the-mill salt video. In this video, I wanted to expand on what I was talking about in my somewhat latest video, Salty Survivor Name Calls After I Come Back. What I specifically wanted to talk about in this video is Survivor Double Standards. When I say Survivor Double Standards, what I'm talking about is survivors that run builds that consist of made for this, dead hard, adrenaline, or any other perk that gives you an endurance effect, aka another chance, but cry and say nasty shit in endgame chat about how you as a killer play or what you choose to run. And now I'm not blind to the fact that killers have some OP perks. Where the fuck did y'all go? Oh, I have a perk that tells me! <laughs> Let me use uh, ultimate weapon. Dude, if I didn't have this perk, this game would be harder for me. Like, this is a cheat code, man. Let me use my free cheat code. <laughs> Survivors many times have commented on a few of my videos saying that I'm some sort of hypocrite because I complain about things like Dead Hard or Made For This. Kind of like this comment. Don't want to hate, but he is that one person complaining about MFT but running node lethal pursuer in the locker one which allows him to see everyone every few seconds like Dead Hard only gets active when you get unhooked or you rescue someone. It isn't even that strong if you just wait, but node gets active when you are just too bad to catch some serves change my mind or hate me as much as you want. IDGAF. It's my opinion. I will say this person was more on the respectful end and I don't think they deserve hate for their opinion. What people who comment stuff like this fail to realize though, is my problem isn't survivors thinking that certain killer perks are strong. My issue from day one is when you as a survivor or killer come into the end game chat and or someone's stream to say mean things about someone's build or that they suck because they choose how they wanna play or what they wanna run. In regards to this comment, I've said many times that I can totally understand how annoying Noed can be. Again, I'm not at all blind to bullshit killer perks. In this video, I show two scenarios where in the first game, I get into an altercation with two survivors who call me a bum and say nasty things after a game was said and done. They try to twist the narrative because I brought up how the only thing saving the guy who started calling me a bum was because of Dead Hard. Then it goes downhill from there, and I was fighting a losing battle to people who also had bullshit perks that didn't want to listen. The second game was where I decided to just meme around and play alien with no perks, add-ons, or offerings. It was a rough game for me, especially since you'll see the survivors had a ton of second chance perks, but instead of me going into endgame chat and ranting about how awful they were for running those perks, I playfully asked how many chances do survivors need, and you'll be shocked at what their response was. At the end of the day, this video is to tell you all, survivor or killer, to run whatever the hell you want and play however the hell you want. It's all just a video game when it really comes down to it. Just do one thing for me. Don't be an ass at the end of the game, whether you won or lost. No one likes a sore winner or loser. Well, that's all I have to say for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all very soon with another video. Before I forget, uploads may be a bit slower because me and my girlfriend finally have our own apartment together and we're in the process of moving, but don't worry, I'll try my hardest to get quality content as fast as I can out to you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Check out SPRG for our Halloween special, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Peace out! And they sent me here, <laughs> so... Just use the things. Use the... God, it feels like... I I'm coping, but it feels like the placement of these is so bad. Damn, I should have been in there a little bit longer. Nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. I need to stop making these dumb hits. It's all good. What? Rimpers? Okay. Alright. <laughs> Ow. 
I have like an end game build. So we're gonna work with that and see what see what's up. Yes! I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I'm just gonna t chase him the old fashioned way. Ooh. His buddy is probably around the corner. No? That's why I made hooks far or uh, closer to me. <laughs> See back that bitch. Yeah. yeah. See back that bitch. Damn. I should have got rid of that. <laughs> there is no thing for you here, so. Okay, this is down to zero, which is nice. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Let's go. Hit this and then go to the tunnel. I'm stuck. Holy balls. He fucked that up, too. God damn it. I swear, I'll get into like a good two chases and then I get fucked. I hear, I hear, uh, more breathing, too. Just break it. Yes. Yes, that doesn't always work, but when it does, it's great. I need to use ultimate weapon. What, what am I doing? I have that for a reason. What the fuck am I doing? I gotta start using my perks. Slowing me down. Ah! All right, gotta uh, rely on this end game. End game build. God, my voice is cracking. Yep, got rid of it. Nice. Good idea, Reaper. I, okay. No. Okay, he's not gonna make it. Yep. Keep doing that, but hooks are closer. Why go after him? Like, there's no point. This guy's already hurt. Ah. Alright. Ah. Ultimate weapon time again. No! They're kind of just giving this <coughs> to me now. So, like, let's keep the pressure up. Keep up the pressure. 
I like your Christmas hat, brother. Are you zoning yourself out, please? No. Yeah. Bro, I, I'm weak because of this fucking perk still to this day. Instead of chasing him, I'm just gonna go after, uh... Yep. Uh, I guess I'll go after you. I don't care. I don't- I really don't care. She's good! Maybe I should've went after him. This is a hit. Does she have like off the record or whatever? What am I doing? Am I getting myself? This is where I blow it. Although I have Indian perk, so don't fear. I need this, like, quick down. What? She stayed? Why? Ugh. Made for this, maybe? What? What? Where did she... Huh? Am I fucking stupid? Am I fucking, like, dumb as hell? Alright, remember, he has dead heart? She is something else, man. Dead hard. Dead hard. Alright. One gen left, but I, this has got to be a kill, right? What? Second? Oh my god, if I would have known, I wouldn't have tried to, like... He has adrenaline. Like, look how fast he's going. Where is Noed? Mm, I love this game, bro. Finds it already. I'm glad I at least could use it once. I'm glad. I need to, yeah, play my cards alright, because I still have uh, Blood Warden. I haven't used this perk in a hot minute. Someone be stupid and come here because of Blood Warden. I 
I need to, like, get this down, like, right fucking now. Okay, cool. She's gonna open the gate and... Open the door. Does he know? He is dead hard. Fuck! No! <laughs> Bro! I should have just broke it, man. That hurts. That fucking hurts, man. Oh, that hurt my balls. That fucking hurt my balls, dude. Uh... Bum. GG. So I just wanted to interject because I know there is going to be some survivor mains that are like, hey, what are you talking about double standards? You're the one who brought it up first, which you'd be right. However, they do later on talk about how I have no ed and that's why I'm a bum. I've been playing this game for a while and when I usually get you're a bomb, you're trash, those types of insults, it's because I unsuccessfully use no ed in Blood Warden. Damn, when you're so mad, you need to bring Midwitch and no ed. Bad. I mean, you're lame and legit so bad, lol. Sorry, man, but no equals you're trash. You got a free kill just handed to you. Look at this meta build. This was the meta, like, you know, before the dead heart nerf. But, uh, yeah, borrow time, like, this is like 2019 meta. Yeah, literally two second chance perks themselves, which I wasn't even complaining about. Like, I got annoyed about the adrenaline that Mikhail had, but it's like, whatever. And then he stops in front of me <laughs> with a stip dick, so I punch him so he could be cheeky and and run away that's where i knew where this was going because honestly there's not a reason to be a sore winner unless you feel some sort of way about a specific perk or perks like i said i technically brought it up but in my eyes too if you're going to trash talk at the end of the game to me what you're saying is invalid because you're running things such as dead hard made for this adrenaline as i say you can run whatever you want but that's like if i got four kills at the end of the game because of no ed and i just called everyone trash i even say this later on in the video but i wanted to clear things up for the people that are going to come in this video being like hey i like your channel but it's cracked you have blood warden and dh isn't allowed
but Blood Warden and Node is. Well you acting like it's not. And you had putrid. GGS. LOL node putrid and blood warden. Buddy you're a bum. Case closed. I didn't send you to a map you suck, fair game. You used one of the most easiest killers too. Learn to break turrets bud. I did. What are you talking about lol? LMAOO You had two second chances At endgame brew What are you on about? Note isn't a second chance One hit one down You are a bum. You can't handle the truth. Not I can. My build is okay. You literally had node. But. But I it got popped first second. I said GG. I don't have DH though. I have balance which isn't as useful as DH. Get your shit right buddy. I was focused on the Dwight, so yeah, he kind of got me there with uh, like, oh yeah, like I said GG's, why insert yourself? I was specifically talking to Biggie Cheese, Biggie Cheese for calling me a bum, and then this guy had to insert himself. See, like, I'm okay if you say GG's and move on, it's fine, like, I'm not in the chat, like, you had dead heart, like, in game, I'm like, oh man, that hurt, because it did. Like, the first thing you have to say after you dead heart in my face is bum. Like, really? And then this guy, I'm pretty sure they're a Swift. He's like, I'm not allowed to, we're not allowed to have these? No, you are. You are, but if you're, you're being a hypocrite if you call me a bum and your, your builds look like this. Because, like, I can understand that this is another chance for me, and possibly Blood Warden, but, like, I, I don't know. It's crazy to me that the people that are the fucking saltiest call me a bot and shit for what I run and how I play, but they bring dead hard adrenaline. Like, I lump all of them together because it's like, I got sent to a map, this Jake was trying to break hooks while you guys have all your chances. It's 1v4. <laughs> if it was a 1v1, that would be slightly different. And sure, they could have, they were pretty decent at times, but like, they had to start with calling me a bot and shit like that. And, like, I'm already annoyed, so maybe that's why I... Maybe not defensive, but I was more, like, annoyed with this shit. Because, like, I had some difficult games before this. Because, yeah, I'm not that great, but, like, 
That's like at the end of the game, if I killed them all, I'm like, you guys are bums, you guys suck. Because I notice they're running perks such as these. But I don't do that. Like, yeah, in-game I'm like, oh man, I hate these perks, I hate these perks. But I'm not at the end of the game like, you fucking suck dick. <laughs> like, that, that is my issue. At the end, end game chat, everything's said and done. And I was like, you know what, I conceded that loss, I was just like, whatever. It's funny, he dead-hearted in my face and he proceeded to call me a bum after. Like, bro, come on. <laughs> come on. It's not as bad, I will say. Dead Heart is not as bad as it used to be, but it's still a, a, a second chance. And the funny thing, of course, the one perk, because he doesn't want to talk about these two perks, the one perk that this guy brings up is Balance Landing. I'm not talking about Balance Landing. I don't give a shit about Balance Landing. That's like if you were calling me a bum and I'm like, bro, Ultimate Weapon's not even that bad, or Merciless Storm, we're not talking about that. We're talking about your second chance perks, bro. <laughs> bro, I don't care who I hit. <laughs> actually, maybe I do, because... Actually, no, because all you all have made for this. I already fucking know. Oh, okay. Nice. Flashlights, please. No. Okay. Wow. I actually, with my Sigma build, or actually any build I have, got a down. Like, before a gen can be done. Uh. Not only that, they sent me here, and I guarantee you at least 10 of them have made for this. <laughs> see what I did there, 10 of them. I need a kill. And they have this shit, bro! Like, <laughs> Oh, that was poggers. Yeah, that was nice. Just keep them hurt, you know? Ah! Bro, it's falling apart. <laughs> Slowly, but surely. I'm not saying shit. I'm not getting my hopes up, I'm not saying shit. Dead hard. <laughs> I love that. I love this game. Give them a million chances, why don't you? Uh, yeah, why not? You know, why not? Why fucking not? <laughs> you know, if they pulled the shit, like, bro, it, nothing's changed in this game. Nothing has changed. Bro, for having no perks, I'm actually kind of killing. Wait, look at that. Oh, this is not fair. These hooks suck. <laughs> There's really nothing I can do because they have yet again another chance. Wait, what? Yeah, like, look how many chances you guys have! Bro, how many chances do you need? How many chances do you guys need, bro? How many chances do you guys need? Isn't that enough? GGS, Chad, no perks. Insane, GGS. Too strong, GGS.
mm. I'm trying to make my friend pimp. Too many. I literally bring any means normally. I need at least seven. Four is good for me. Maybe eight on a bad day. Unlucky. Maybe. Don't. I mean it's a broken combo for sure. Actually five chances is a pretty good amount. Chem trap is enough for me. I need five. Yummy babe. Maybe use perks. Shock. I have heard that helps. GGS, WP. GGS, honestly needs more MFT. GGS. And it's the meta people gonna abuse. Actually wait I need 4 chances. 4. LMAO. <sighs> you know it's it's actually very funny um, that like if you're a good sport in return they're good sports and they actually admit to having like really bullshit perks um, so obviously they were right in the fact that like yeah if I use perks you know that would help but honestly I've been running into this shit for six or seven games I've been in, on a law streak and I was just like you know what this helps calm me down just not running any of my perks because then it seems like less of you know my issue I guess you know I really have to like focus on my gameplay and uh, I wasn't doing that good um, because I was getting kind of pounded with gens and they were you know they were good at the game but like bro even they admitted this is cheese like buckle up for the people gen speeds are gonna be quicker because of that um, hope made for this decisive strike dead hard the Quentin had it all man uh, he had the quadruple kill. Um, this didn't seem too bad. Uh, Felix didn't really have anything, and that's, I feel like, one of the reasons why, uh, you know, he was on death hook immediately. Uh, but yeah, dead hard, made for this. <laughs> Deliverance. You know what I mean? And it's so funny that these types of survivors, not these guys, these guys were great. But it's funny that these types of survivors, if they're mad at you, they will not admit that it's broken. Do you, do you realize that, you know, these perks are called strong or broken for a reason? I don't think they're necessarily broken. Maybe the buckle up and for the people shit. Um, but I don't know if I would even go that far. Yeah, GG's. I mean, I got a ton of points for that. I actually got the second most, but this is what I'm talking about. Like, at some point, you got to realize that some of these survivor perks need to be looked at a little bit harder. Because this shit's fucking ridiculous. And this argument's not for the fucking baby survivors that don't know how to use them correctly and then they get fucking tunneled in camp almost every game. This is for the people that actually know how to use it very, very well, which is what they did.